Well, good Saturday morning. Another sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Hope you'll stay and spend a few minutes with me here at the beginning of this day. You may have a busy day ahead of you. I know people that work the Monday through Friday jobs, they look forward to Saturday, maybe sleep in a little bit to get caught up on uh, things around the house. Seems like if you have a place, there's always something to do, isn't there? I know around our house the work is never done. There's always some little chore that needs to be seen to. And so you may have plans for that. You may have a long honeydew list, you men, that you need to take care of today. And you ladies that have worked all week, you probably have laundry and house cleaning to do. But I hope that uh, we'll not forget the really important things, and that is focusing on God and uh, preparing our hearts for the Lord's Day tomorrow, that we might be able to have a worship experience that will prepare us for the rest of, of life. Well, I was thinking about uh, how we've been mentioning some here lately, that some of whom we know are going through some difficult times in their life. So happy that we begin to see some answers to prayer. Some of the situations that we've been praying for, we've just got to pray and hold on to God and trust God that in His time and in His way that He is going to answer our prayer, that He's going to solve the problems, that He's going to answer the perplexities, that He's going to give us whatever help we need as we go through this life. So keep on praying and keep on trusting the Lord. And I've found that during the hard times when it seemed like that... Uh, we're not really getting anywhere with God. You ever get that way? You pray and not much happens. You really try to have faith. Lord, I really believe that you can do this. And you know, it's one thing to believe that God can do it and another thing to believe that he will do it. And we may be even in a situation where we're praying, Lord, I believe you will do this. And yet it's not being done. Well, I just want to encourage you to keep trusting, keep holding on, keep uh, looking to the Lord and Keep your faith strong. And I found one thing that is helpful is to look back. Now, I know Paul said forgetting those things which are behind, but there's sometimes we need to take a backward look. And I ran across a little poem in one of my devotional books by Amy Carmichael, and I just want to share that with you to encourage you today uh, to keep trusting the Lord, to keep holding on. And uh, this says, He who hath led will lead. And all through the wilderness. He who hath fed will surely feed. He who hath heard thy cry will never close his ear. He who hath marked thy faintest sigh will not forget thy tear. He loveth always, faileth never, so rest on him today and forever. So you know sometimes we have to look back and see that the Lord has been faithful in days gone by that he's kept his promise, that he has been there for us, and we've no reason to doubt that he's going to fail us today. We sing that little chorus sometimes. He never has failed me yet. He never has failed me yet. I have proven him true. What he says he will do, for he never has failed me yet. You know, we've just got to believe that God's not going to fail because that's one thing that God cannot do is to fail his children. So keep believing, keep trusting, keep holding on. God's going to answer your prayer. Delight thyself in the Lord. He will give you the desires of your heart. Hope I've been an encouragement to those of you that are praying and seeking answers and help from God. Let's ask God to continue to help us Heavenly Father, bless us as we endeavor to hold on to the promises of God. Help us, dear Lord, to know that we have a God, a Heavenly Father, that loves and cares for us so much. And Lord, you're never going to fail your children. We pray that would help us to look back and remember the times that you've been there for us and times that you brought us through. And Lord, to have faith for today and for the tomorrows of life. Now bless us this Saturday of life and bless us in the Lord's house tomorrow. We ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Well, thanks for sharing with me and I'll see you on Monday on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. And as I always say, hope to see a bunch of you at the Lighthouse Chapel Sunday morning. Goodbye now.